So I'm trying to find a Linux distribution that is perfect for me, a distribution that uh, has no bloat and has vanilla GNOME. I tried Fedora, which is which is amazing. It provides everything I need, but I wanted to try something under Arch, based on Arch. I came across this project called Arch Linux GUI. It looks good. It has GNOME vanilla stock with no themes. So let's uh, try to install it. I will show you how to install it, how to create the bootable USB drive and the installation parts. So let's continue. Okay, so you will need to, uh, to download the ISO from the website. And I will download the GNOME version. You can download whatever version you like. Then download Rufus, which is a tool to create a bootable USB drive and create the USB drive with the, the ISO. Okay, when booted, you will be greeted with this uh, start tour thing. We can go through it, get an overview to, of it. As you see, it has gestures. It's GNOME stuff. We can have a look around and see the system how it is. I like this uh, GNOME vanilla things. You can change the dark theme and light theme. You have a screenshot tool, which is good. Let's see how to install it. Now the installer is Calamaris, which is default on many distros. Let's press next see where are we for the clock and our language and keyboard language and where do we will we will install it I have a partition create a username and a password and install okay let's check this distro out and what it does does it provide with apps uh, we have gnome videos a videos app we have a calculator g edit with which is a te text editor old one terminal app the old terminal and some uh, utilities and the console which is the new gnome terminal app so you have the choice here I personally don't like having two terminals but you can ins uninstall it whatever whenever you want yeah, and we see dark style here OBS wasn't installed by default. Extensions. What extensions we are ha we are having out of the box? Tweaks installed also out of the box. GNOME Tweaks that provides uh, customizations. I like the Windows style of buttons. We have a VLC Vim text editor another uh, the newer text editor you can choose whatever you want which is adaptive with the uh, dark mode and uh, gtk4 it's a gtk4 app tour startup tour we look we took a look at that earlier gnome design looks uh, amazing in my in my opinion the store the app store it provides it has all the apps you need we have cheese a camera app
store has pl plenty of apps, flat packs, flat app pre -installed, installed. I think all these apps are from flat app. Flat packs, all these apps apps are a flat packs which is a good thing but flat packs tend to to use a lot of storage so be careful and if you want to use uh, arch apps you can have arch apps you enable the repository there are a lot of apps games the App Store is uh, has a night. It's a GNOME App Store, software store. It it has a good uh, UI design, visual code. Let's see how much RAM we are using. You are we are using three point seven gigs, gigabytes, gigabytes. Okay, and that's it. Overall, right? Overall, my experience with this this was positive, but it was slightly not stable unstable in my opinion and i didn't like that because i want a stable i want a stable distribution i didn't have any issues with with fedora my graphic cards my graphic card when i put this distro in it tend when i install the the driver for it it won't boot up anymore so yeah. So I, w I wouldn't recommend it as a daily driver, but you can test it out. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. I like it. So this is my review of it. I think it's a good uh, idea to have Arch without the having ne needing to to put in a thousand commands. It's easy as as it should be. If you want uh, to install Arch only Arch in uh, in Hurry. And it has the the apps, the desktop environments, but it's slightly unstable for my taste. So, uh, so I won't uh, be daily driving this because it crashed on me twice when I installed the driver. So I don't. I will keep looking for a distro. I hope you found this uh, video enjoyable. So if you did, consider su subscribing to my channel because I will be making a lot of videos of uh, reviews of uh, of distros. I will be making one of uh, Nubara Linux which is ba based on uh, Fedora and see how that uh, that goes. So if uh, there is any notes or anything, just tell me in the comments below. Thank you.